If you know anything about our ownership, they're very big into STEM-based programming. So to be able to create this environment, the largest classroom in Southern California and have it where the kids can actually take and learn a lesson plan on our standard-based programming is really special. It's great. I am a science teacher at heart. Um, I teach elementary, but I love science. So to see this many kids excited about learning things that traditionally people think science is boring, and you can hear in there, they're so excited, and it's great. We love taking them out of the school into an experience they've never been to. Some students have never seen a hockey arena ever until today. So taking them out of our small little school in Yermo, California, here to Anaheim was just the experience in itself. Being in an arena with 16,000 other students, seeing hockey players and Wild Wing, they absolutely are enjoying today. I think the Ducks do a great job at putting these events on. It's pretty, we're pretty fortunate to have the, the platform we have to you know, make a difference and, and I mean, I never had a field trip like that when I was a, a kid. That would have been a, a dream field trip. So it seemed like everyone was having a good time out there and uh, we were happy to be a part of it. What are you going to go tell your parents today that it was your favorite part of the entire first flight field trip? Uh, about how it was so cool that they made these hockey pucks with so many things that I didn't think that they were made like that. My favorite thing that I learned today is that there's, there's 17 ingredients for the puck. Wow, that's, that's a good fact. The, my favorite thing that I learned today is that wing cannot control a puck without glue. Oh, yes, all right. But how loud do you think it is in there? Is it, is it pretty good volume in there? It's loud in there. When they like tell us to make noise, it's really loud. Yeah, really loud. Hello, I'm here with Cam Fowler, and Cam, what is your favorite subject in school? Uh, I always liked history. I was uh, just interested in everything that happened before I was born, and um, I don't know, just always something that I've been interested in. Nice. And what do you think of all those kids out there and how they're learning about the science of hockey? I think it's pretty cool. I. Uh, you know, if I got to take a field trip to a hockey rink as a kid, I know I would be super excited. And I don't know if they can hear on camera, but we can hear them all screaming out there right now. So it sounds like they're having fun. I'm here with Hampus Lindholm. And Hampus, what do you think of all those kids out there that, how do you feel that they're learning about the science of hockey? No, I think it's great. And I uh, kind of overheard what Cam said there. I think it's for kids to come out when you're a kid. Like, you're going to be really excited to come to a hockey rink like this. and. There's 16,000 out there and they're getting pretty loud, so it's fun. Yeah, it is very loud out there, just to be clear. Very loud, it's amazing. If you could design a better puck, how would you change it? Oh man, um, I would probably find a way to make it hurt less if it hit me, but keep it the same in all the other ways. I'll make it the blue and yellow, just like the flag of my country. <laughs> nice job. Okay, thank you so much and have a great time. Have a great rest of the thank time. You. Thank you. <laughs> we had so much fun at this year's first flight field trip. We learned a lot. We learned about science, technology, engineering, math, and of course, how to possibly build a better puck. But unfortunately, it's time for us to go home. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I'm Ainsley Savant and I'm signing off from Honda Center for Ducks Weekly. Yeah. Yeah.